Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. In this video, I want to go over the vision I have for East of Machini in 2023. I want to show you guys kind of, of what our check-ins have been like, um, the posing differences that we've been working on compared to uh, what you were doing before and all of our last competitions. And I want to talk to you guys about a few other changes that we're going to be making, which which I believe will result in a very much improved Issa Bishini. So I'm going to start off with mentioning a few changes that we're going to be making right off of the bat to improve Issa Bishini going forward. So I had Issa Bishini send me every single stage photo of every competition she's ever done. Peak week check-ins of every competition she's ever done. Her peak week protocols, her water manipulation, um, electrolyte manipulation, you know, food protocol, everything she did during peak weeks, how she looked before stage, how she looked on stage, after stage. I just, my whole goal was to try to see all of the data that she had, assess what was going incorrectly, right? Because Issa has great genetics and you know we know she works hard and i just wanted as much information as i can get to be able to try to problem solve because you know that's the job of a coach guys we we try to problem solve and we try to find solutions and answers and you know the right formula for every athlete so that they can come in at their best right so isa bashini had so much data from competing for seven years and she shared it with me and i believe i've been able to figure out maybe where she went wrong in the past. And I believe I found, you know, a lot of solutions on things that we could improve on going forward, which, which is very exciting for me and her because, um, you know, she, I, I'm communicating with her and I'm telling her my vision and what I believe we can change. And she, she agrees and she sees where I'm going with this and kind of what I want out of her. So the first thing is, you know, Issa obviously has amazing genetics, especially in the front pose and not yet in the back pose of what we've seen. But I have seen that she actually has good genetics in the back pose, and I'm going to share that with you soon. We know that she won the Olympia. She won the Arnold. You know, she has what it takes to be at the top. And we know that the last few years, she's kind of been going in the wrong direction, per se, right? Because she won the Olympia in 2019, then placed sixth, then placed fifth, then placed ninth, right? So obviously something needed to change, and she kind of wanted a new direction, a new eye, a new vision of what she could improve on because she's not like she's old she's not you know she's not 50 years old she's younger than laura lee she's younger than jennifer dory she still has you know the fire in her she still wants to win again you know but she just hasn't been um necessarily improving and you know the judges the olympia judges told her that this olympia was her worst back shot ever so i mean that's not very encouraging for an athlete that's trying to improve and win the olympia especially when they're dedicating their life to bodybuilding and eating all the food and doing everything they need to do. And then they're being told that's their worst look ever. I mean, it's very disheartening. And, you know, I understand why she wants kind of to change things up and kind of see if she can make a change with her physique. So I, I'm very humbled. I'm very appreciative of her giving me the opportunity to guide her in this direction. And I'm very excited because I'm going to show you guys why I think she can be much better. And I hope to convince you guys with this video. And I believe I will. Uh, by the end of this video so let's go through the first thing the first thing we're going to change is uh, the peak week protocol so the way that she was doing things before is very very different than the way i like to do things and i think the way that i like to do things generally is going to be much more beneficial for her based on the data that i receive so she typically they like to increase their water to the start of the week and then drop it towards the end and then be extremely aggressive with water manipulation towards the end, uh, closer to the show, consuming very, very little to no water and just going into a very big depletion process leading up until show day, which I think is the main culprit for her back shot being, you know, as weak as it, as it is. You know, I think it's been unnecessarily flat. And I think that just that alone is going to make a huge difference and i'm going to show you guys now why i think that i know now that isa has glutes and that she has potential to have round full glutes which which no one knew about before because we've never seen it before on stage but you know this is why i wanted her to send me all of this data so that i can see what she's made of and what she's capable of and you know through this receipt of information i was able to realize and actually get excited that she actually she could have glutes on the stage which would make her extremely competitive at the high level at the olympia and, and you know which also led me to believe that she can be back at the top and that she hasn't yet reached her full potential physique wise so this is one of the examples this is a show in brazil that isa did i believe it was last year could have been the year before and this is new york pro last year so 
look at the glute density here on this on this competition photo versus this one. Here she is round, bubbly, and has a lot of glute density in the gluteus maximus area. And here she is extremely flat, right? Some athletes, you know, like a Laura Lee, uh, uh, Ashley, a uh, Jen, uh, more, whatever, like even if they show up off, they're still gonna be better than 99% of people just based on genetics, right? So the thing is that's really gonna make the difference is when they show up on. Look at the difference between Laura Lee placing fifth at the Olympia when she was completely off versus winning the Arnold. On versus off, she's still top five in the world when she's completely off, but the, the small difference when she's on is going to make them, you know, the champions. And I think the small differences could make Issa, you know, climb back in the top. So this is not even the craziest thing I'm about to show you. So you can see the difference of when she's full versus when she's flat, right? She shared to me this video before she won the Arnold. This was in peak week of the Arnold. So this is a video that I had not seen before. And this is when I got really excited because I saw the glute potential that Issa Vashini had. So this was before the Arnold when she won, right? This is insane. This is glutes that are up to par with the Laura Lee, the Jens, the Maureen's, right at the top of the Olympia. But the thing is, we, we've never seen this before on stage. And I think the reason is because of the drastic water depletion, which sucked all the life out of her glutes. So this was the in peak week of the Arnold where she won. And I'm going to show you actually on the stage that exact same show. I believe it was this one. I may be wrong, but I believe it's this one. You can see the difference in the. Uh, the glute fullness, the roundness, you know, everything, every everything about the the pop of the shape. Even the the legs don't even look as tight as lead because they're kind of depleted, you know. And if Issa comes in with that crazy front pose that we we love, with full round glutes like this, I I don't see how she can be really beat by anyone because you know her front's already unbeatable. But we're gonna make it better. I'm gonna show you in the video the process of making it better that we've been working on. And if we grow her glutes and she presents a, you know, a back shot as impressive as this, I mean, guys, this is someone who's un unbelievable, unbeatable from the front and the back, which is, you know, as a coach, this makes me really excited because if I get someone with untapped potential, you know, and I make them great, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. And obviously Issa's climbed to the top, she won the Olympian, the Arnold, but you know, if she's able to, if we're able to do like a crazy comeback story where she goes from ninth back to like top three or even winning again, it's going to be remarkable and nice. And she's going to be so happy because, you know, as an athlete, when you win, you don't really want to lose and come down that much. So I really want to do this for her. I want to do this to, you know, show that she has what it takes to be back at the top and, you know, show my coaching ability too. So it's going to be really exciting for the both of us. And we're going to get into the, the changes we're going to make. So that's one. We're going to be changing the peak week protocol. I don't know, obviously, what a peak week protocol is yet going to be. But my idea is to get her lean enough where she doesn't need to deplete that much water so that we can keep her full. If she comes in full and her glutes are tightened around, she's going to be very, very, very hard for anyone to beat. Because Issa comes in the front. She beats everyone in the front. Everyone knows. Turns to the back. She loses all her points, right? And that's that's always a problem. Like, even when she beat Ashley twice last year, the judges were like, yeah, I mean, she wins from the front, but Ashley kind of wins from the back. But if Issa comes in with a freaking bombshell back shot, it's going to be scary for anyone, and she's going to be pretty much unbeatable. So that is my my main goal for her. So bring her in condition. Don't deplete the water. Bring her in full in the back shot. Get those nice full round glutes. And you guys know, like, I'm... I bring my athletes in shape. I bring them in full. I bring them in, you know, obviously there's mishaps here and there. You obviously missed a peak, but 99% of the time, I mean, we nailed the conditioning. I don't bring athletes in out of shape. It's very, very rare. So I think we're going to be able to nail that with Issa Vashini, and it's exciting. So that's the first thing. The second thing, you know, I reviewed all of her training protocols and stuff from last year, and she had mentioned to me that the only thing that she's been doing for her glute development for the past 12 months was stiff leg deadlifts, good mornings, and the abductor machine. And I didn't understand why, and I asked her, I'm like, because your, your, you know, your criticism is always your back shot. So why are you not training your, your glutes enough? And she's just like, well, I was told I gained muscle too fast. I was told to just do these exercises. And she said she felt like a, she was losing a lot of density, but Issa's kind of the one to just listen and not really fight back. She's very, very coachable and very easy. She's like, she's a, she's clay, right? She just wants to, you can mold her whatever you want. She's going to do it. So I learned that just working with her for the past couple of weeks. So she kind of was just doing what she was, was told and I was like, well, well obviously we're gonna fix that. You're gonna start training glutes again. So we put on a plan where she's training glutes twice a week now. I also made her send me training videos so I can view her intensity, her form and everything. And her form was perfect on everything, but she was training at 70, 80% of her capacity. And I was I asked her again, why are you training, you know, without 
full intensity. And she's like, because again, you know, I was told I grow too fast, so not to train too hard. So I was like, well, let's get into the gym or let's kill you. So she's been training me videos. She's been going to failure. She's been really pushing herself. And that alone, you know, training the glutes properly with, you know, isolation exercises, which she wasn't doing before at all. And increasing the intensity, you know, from 70 to 100% is going to make a huge difference in her glutes. That plus the peak week thing, that together, two things together, which is very minimal changes, is going to make a huge difference. Now, we have other things we're going to go into that are going to make a big difference too. Pursuit. Before we get into this, it boggles my mind why this is even still happening. I don't know why suit makers are doing this with their suits. Okay, I'm going to open this picture, even though it's going to cause me some anxiety. So this is when she won the Olympia, she had a rounded suit, right? Which is what Jennifer Dory has, which is what Ashley has, which is what Laurel Lee has, which Maureen has. And, you know, the suit designer that made this suit, which is the T-cut, I don't know why they did this. They make other suits for other Olympians and pros, and it, it's kind of, it's like this, it's rounded. So I don't know why this pattern even exists. This pattern should be burned immediately with gasoline and fire and never to be seen again. This is, does not look good on anyone's glutes. And I share this exact picture that you guys see right now with five Olympia judges that judge Isa on the stage and they all agreed that this cut was terrible and did not do her any justice to her glutes so I mean this pattern should never exist um this you should never see something like this you know on a on a bikini athlete's glutes because it just doesn't benefit them make rounded suit cuts suit designers there's no reason for this ugly t-cut angled 90 degrees which gives them you know a boxy square look it doesn't make any sense plus even like how like this is like thicker here versus this is like a lot thinner and just more like delicate this is just straight edged and just like i mean clunky looking it's just not it's ugly and that's the third thing we're going to change we're going to change the suit the suit color the suit cut i'm not going to tell you what we're going to do yet but obviously the suit cut's going to be rounded and right there, that's the third thing is going to make a huge difference. We're not going to have a boxy, you know, glutes just because based on the suit cut. I mean, if you had Laura Lee's round glutes or Jen's round glutes with this suit cut, it would look 10 times worse. Guarantee you. Go look at their suit cuts right now on stage for the last four years and tell me if you see any suit cuts that were edged like this. You won't because it's not beneficial for them at all. So that's that's the third thing. Now, the fourth thing is going to be the posing. We're going to get into that soon. The way I'm going to structure this video is that we're going to go through kind of like some check-ins we've done. And then I'm going to go through because she sent me other shows and kind of her... Uh, posing for the shows and show you guys how much her posing changes from show to show and why we need to really you know reduce that and really find a proper front and back pose for her which she settles into and makes her staple and doesn't change at all because there's so much variation you guys are gonna like you guys probably didn't notice this and i noticed this too until i i'm actually reviewing like you know 50 pictures of different shows and i'm like jesus everything's changing every show so this is the first check-in she sent me you know right away i'm already like well her glutes look fuller than what it was at olympia so you know but Obviously, her body fat's higher, but you know, I see she has some glutes here. So obviously, she was way too depleted at the Olympia. But uh, one of the main critiques here was, you know, she's off balance. Her right foot is extended too much um, to the side. She's not centered. She's leaning on her right foot here, and she's abducting her foot too much here. So I sent her this picture of my athlete Gabriella, which is a perfectly symmetrical back pose, and just to show her, you know, how asymmetric she is here, uh, what she needs to fix. So this. Left shoulder is higher than her right versus here. They're perfectly parallel. You know, from the head to the, her center glutes to the between her feet is perfectly aligned versus here, her head to glute. So you see there's like a lot less distance between this foot than there is this foot, almost two times as much distance. So, I mean, you need to be centered. You need to have a very good center of gravity right in the middle. So everything is perfectly aligned like this. So, you know, elbow to hips to knees to feet need to be perfectly aligned and not like this leg is extended more and this foot is, you know, um, abducted and weights on this leg it needs to be perfectly aligned and not everyone is perfectly symmetrical but you can pose and even if it feels a little bit weird everyone can look symmetrical in your back pose if you perfectly align everything even if you feel off so even me personally i have like a little bit of scoliosis so if i want to do a front double bicep i need it to kind of tilt a little bit to the left and it's going to make me feel off but i'm going to look centered so that's what you need to get into your mind we're going to get into so this is another check-in type of situation so this is her first front pose she sent me Issa looks the best when she angles her close foot towards the judges. If she angles her foot to profile, even three degrees or, you know, fully profile, like 180 on the side, her legs look too clunky and her glutes look too clunky. And it throws off her whole delicate look. Issa needs to look delicate in order to be successful because that's just her structure. She's a very small waist, very small wrists, uh, you know, very small bones, very narrow hips. If she starts looking big and bulky, she doesn't look good. And we saw that at 2020 Olympia when she went from first to uh, sixth place. So here, what I showed her was basically that 
everything was perfect here and here she needs to just change her foot position. So here, look at the differences. This shoulder is slightly lowered. These shoulders are perfectly parallel. Her waist here is perfectly fine in both. Her foot here is way too close to this one and she's turning her knee away and her foot away. So look how much longer and proportionate her leg looks here compared to this one. It looks like she has like a, a short leg here, right? So, and that's because she's turning her knee away, pointing her foot away and her feet are too close. Look at the distance between her elbow here and her knee when you go all the way down versus this one, right? There's a much greater distance here versus here. And that's going to give her a much more symmetrical look. So if you look at both pictures together, this one has much more symmetry from top to bottom versus this one, basically because of the shoulders are more aligned on this side. Her leg is more extended and her back knee and uh, back foot are not turned pointing away. The only thing is she needs to keep her foot more angled 90 degrees for the judges to not make her leg look so clunky or this is too much for isa to look delicate here in her back pose she has a tendency in uh, all of her shows to kind of lean on her right leg turn her right knee out and turn her right foot out a little bit more right so we the legs need to be symmetrical this right leg looks two times as big as her left leg which is a, a, a big problem and you know we're, we're working on uh, symmetry for her in her back and her front pose which is going to give her overall look much better and this is you know the epitome of bikini is symmetry and balance you know and when i went over the arnold recap video you guys saw like i pointed out the flaws and the the strengths of some athletes and it's all comes down to symmetry so these little things are easy to fix you know turn your foot in a little bit here hide your quad a little bit mirror by turning your knee in and that's going to be much better so i'm going to show you guys what i mean by that so i went through all of her all of her show pictures and so many of the pictures her right foot this is what you won the arnold too her right foot is turned out too much and her, and her knee is bent. So look at this, right foot turned out, knee bent. Right foot too much turned out, knee slightly bent here. You see the quad here. Right foot too turned out, right foot way too turned out, right foot way too, so it's like knee way too bent, you know? So these are little habits that she needs to break, which I'm forcing into her every day where it's like, your right foot's too turned out. And now she's nailing it and she's not doing those mistakes anymore, and, you know? And when you've been competing for seven years and doing a small mistake, it just, you, you don't really, and no one tells you, you're going to keep doing the same thing over and over again. And it's just, it's just a habit of how you're, you place your feet when you're hitting your pose. So yeah, I mean, that small change alone is also going to help her symmetry a lot. Her front pose too, I compared all of her best placings and best looks versus her worst placings and worst looks. So you're going to notice the difference between the poses and her best and her worst. So her front pose is here in her best looks. Her waist is more towards the front. Her foot is more angled towards the judges, right? And she has a good distance between her elbow and her um, her knee. So here she needs to extend her foot a little bit more to have perfect symmetry. But overall, this is an incredible front pose. Also, another thing you're going to notice, her chest is to the front. Her waist is to the front. And these two, I believe this is like 2019, 2020. This is where they wanted kind of more lat flare in the bikini. But now it's too much. And this was, I believe, 2021 or 2022 where she won the Tampa. And this is more reasonable. And this is where, what we're going to go for. So they don't want this lat flare anymore because it's too much exaggerated, but overall, everything else is perfect. So she needs to really stand up tall and be confident on stage, right? She's petite, she's delicate. She needs to look confident on stage and she needs to keep her waist and her hips a little bit more to the front. So Issa already has an extremely small waist. She does not need to over-exaggerate it by showing it to the side. It's, it's not going to help her, her overall symmetry, right? So here she turns it to the side and it's just, it's, it's almost like too small, right? It kind of looks off. So that doesn't help her here too. She's turning way to the side. You see way too much ribs. And remember before I was telling you like her feet look, so look at her foot here. It's not facing the judge. It's angled a little bit, but not enough here profile here. Not enough. So her quad and leg looks very clunky in all three of these pictures versus look at look at the quads and legs here versus these one. Look, look how much more delicate this looks on her and more proportional looks on her, on her frame when she angles her vert properly to the judges, right? Versus this where it's like, profile clunky it just it doesn't doesn't match up Another thing too her feet here is you know too close and she's leaning forward remember the in the arnold video where i, I point out jennifer dory was leaning on her back leg and leaning way too forward so her waist here she's leaning on her back leg you know her body chest pulling forward here too she's pulling forward and here super tall confident beautiful super tall super tall these are like so look at the the comparison between her best three shows and her three worst the po there's very similar posing differences between her all three of her best and all three of her worst right so we're gonna obviously go for her better looks and her better posing and there's similarities which is like the especially the posture the waist the chest to the front and the foot angle those are the three biggest things that we need to be consistent going forward also Issa, you know, she can't be too big. If she comes in too big like this, she looks like a figure athlete. And once again, it takes away from her, 
her delicate look, even here to the quad too big, she needs to come in looking delicate, you know, and petite, and she's going to look much more Issa-esque, and that's what's going to help her bring her back to the top. Let's go into this back pose here at the Olympia. She's standing too tall. That's that's one of the main problems. So obviously the suit cut's a nightmare, but that's not helping her. But she's very, very flat. You can see she has no glute depth at all. So you know, she told me her peak week protocol, and it's the same thing. It's huge depletion, which is, you know, unnecessary for her. She's in condition. She'll look much better. But the only reason to really deplete water that much for her would be to kind of bring in her waist and make her like look crazy from the front. But she already has a crazy front pose. I mean, we, have we ever seen a front pose besides the Arnold, uh, this Arnold, sorry, not this one, but uh, the Arnold, I think it was like uh, when Jennifer Dory won, like this was her worst front pose ever. This Arnold, she just did random. It, it was, uh, everything was off for this front pose. I mean, Besides that, have we ever seen her with a really off front pose? Not really. So, I mean, you're better off even if you have to. If if you need to cut that much water to make her front pose 110%, sacrifice a little bit and bring in more glute depth and density, and she's going to be an overall much better and full package, you know? And, like, when we see Issa, we're not like, oh, let's see if she's off from the front. It's always like, let's wait till she turns around to the back, and it's like, disappointing, you know? So it's like, bring her in full and round, and she's going to wow the judges much more than bringing in, you know, uh, half an inch smaller waist which she already has smaller than anyone else so that's the first thing full and she's not pushing back enough i'm going to show you guys it's not a perfect back pose we're going to go into a good back pose but look at the glute width and the roundness already versus this right here she's almost like pelvis forward and here she's pushing her pelvis backwards so it gets a lot more width and density and he says very narrow hips she can sacrifice pushing back a little bit more and have more glute width. It's, it actually looks good on her, you know, and actually gives her legs more density here. Her legs look like, you know, too skinny and, you know, the glutes look very depleted. She pushed back a bit more, much better look on her shape. So let's actually look at this picture too. So this is my favorite front pose that she's ever done. And this is what we're kind of going for uh, this year. With one exception, we're not going to flare the lat as much because it's way too much. And as I explained before, it's not what the judges are looking for anymore. They want you know, kind of a more relaxed look. And this is kind of too exaggerated. So we're going to kind of keep that everything else exactly the same. Bring that shoulder a little bit too back because it's too much still X-frame, but not too much. Just a little bit relaxed the shoulder in your back. Drop the lat a little bit. Everything else perfectly the same. Look at the difference between her foot distance here and here. And look how much better she looks when she's perfectly symmetrical on this side. Here she looks like a, she has a huge upper body. Here she looks like her legs are very small, right? So she's, Hiding her glute, her feet are too close. And look at the distance between her knee and her elbow here when you bring a straight line down versus this one, right? So the distance is much shorter here, which gives her a much more proportional look. So this is what we're going for. I don't want this feet close anymore on her. It doesn't look good. It looks much better when her feet are elongated and she doesn't look like she has a, you know, a, a leg that's one foot shorter than the, the other one. So let's go into her check-in that she sent me today and kind of what I want to fix with her. So this is her, a video she sent me of um, just kind of her front pose here. This is, this is pretty much perfect on Issa here. Her shoulders are perfectly level. Her feet, uh, once again, they're angling towards the judges. She doesn't look like she has a short stubby leg here. Her knee and her foot are profile, showing the inner, her inner thigh. I mean, just enough flat where it's not too much, maybe a little bit less. And her claw doesn't look cl uh, clunky, you know, and when she's actually lean enough, Luke's gonna have the perfect roundness here at the top. Maybe twist a little bit more. I'll see how she looks when she's a little bit leaner. And the waist to the front, which is not gonna exaggerate her ribcage too much. and you know, sure, show a very flat, nice waist. I'm actually going to make Issa train abs a little bit too, which is something she's never done before. And, you know, I can sacrifice a little bit of weight, uh, waist thickness to give more detail to her mix session. It's just, it's, it's a no brainer, right? So she's starting to train abs a little bit, you know, obviously unweighted, but that's going to give more detail to her midsection, make her even look more impressive from the front. Her back post here. So there's a few variations she sent me. Here she's standing too upright, right? This is almost like the Olympia uh, kind of back pose and her elbow is kind of slightly uh, out too much to the right, her right elbow. So she always has a problem with the right side of her body. She must have like a pinch nerve or some asymmetry that's really causing her to have um, an issue, but also her left leg is a little bit longer than her, her right. And that's why she tends to lean a little bit on her right leg a little bit uh, more because it's more comfortable. So this was a little bit too much. Here, we compared these two. So here, what I showed her was that I really like her, her lower body here. The glute roundness is perfect, but her elbows are too, too much pushed out and her hands are too low on her, her thighs. Here, her elbows are perfect. Her hands are um, more on her inner thighs. So you see less of her wrist here. Here you see less of her wrist versus this one. 
and you just see the arms and the shoulder versus here kind of looks very like she's pressing and kind of like she's not comfortable here she looks very relaxed so she needs more of a relaxed look like this uh versus this one which kind of looks more tensed up so i want this lower body uh and this upper body so here she's pushing too much and it flattens her glutes it's not nice it's too wide here just enough and it's giving her a much denser look in her gluteus maximus and a lot rounder top is here a little bit wider and here she even uh let me see here here she exaggerated the push even more obviously a little bit less quality but here she's pushing way too much and look how wide her glutes look here it's not it, that's not good so she needs this roundness with the upper body of the picture i just showed you before and that's going to be a killer back shot so um let me just show you the difference between this back shot here so let's just uh, let's do this picture here i think that'd be the best example versus her olympia look obviously she has higher body fat but look at the difference in the glute roundness of when she actually poses properly so imagine she's pushing she's arcing this if you see her lower back here she's like not even arcing at all versus this arc and then we're going to have these elbows and this upper body it's going to be insane so imagine like look at this glute look at the roundness look at the density and then we're also going to be training glutes which she wasn't training before plus this new pose plus being full without depleting water plus the new suit it's going to be a totally different isa guys and that, that we've ever seen before because there's so many big changes we're going to make that i think are going to have a huge positive impact on her physique let's just go through her previous pictures or shows i'm going to show you the you know the differences and the uh, inconsistencies with her posing so this is her front pose this is her worst front pose i believe she's ever done i was at the arnold she tried something completely new waist to the side glued to the side, hiding the back shoulder. It was just like, let's just try something new. And they did it and didn't work. And she just fixed it right away. And she realized that that was a bad idea. So, and everything was off this show too. Her tan was off. She wasn't leaning up. There was just so many things and it just happens to every athlete. Some some shows are not going to go your way. This, I don't know, it's obviously this Arnold Classic. I don't know what year, but you can see here, look, she's pushing her right foot out too much, pushing her knee out too much. So this is a very inconsistent thing she's been doing often. It's very random. Like she didn't do it at the Olympia, but she did it like the show before. And like, here, so she needs to learn what she's doing wrong and be consistent in fixing them fixing the errors that she's doing so she doesn't repeat it on stage when you know the olympia comes and she could place back at the top this once again best front pose she's ever done we're going to reduce the lats a little bit here bring the shoulder a little bit back and it's going to be flawless back pose here she won the arnold here but obviously it could be better she's pushing her knee out too much here giving this leg more volume and pushing her foot out too much here as well this is one of her best back shots ever the brazil show once again the suit horrible cut ruining the shape for absolutely no reason um, if it was rounded it would look even better but this is like pretty good she's still pushing his knee out a little bit too much unnecessarily but the fullness here gets me really excited for uh what's to come this front pose is pretty good she still can the the lighting is not great but her waist is a little bit too much to the side which isn't favor for her if the lighting was better and she's kind of turning her her toe and her knee a little for, a little bit further away but the distance is is not bad here i think this is when she was a baby so we're not going to critique her too much this little baby isa waist to the side glute you know to the side quadras too clunky like look at the clunkiness difference in this in this versus versus this like look how much more professional and confident she looks when she poses like this versus like this with the leg right look how clunky the quad looks and the you know the waist doesn't it's just the waist looks too exaggerated it looks like an alien versus here it's like more reasonable right you have some ab detail the shot you don't just see like a rib cage here and she looks just a lot more proportional in X frame, right? She's much better X frame here, and much more balance here. It looks like she has a big upper body, but the quads clunky. It's kind of, it's kind of, you know, a lot, a lot of things happen that in that front pose. Here she's a baby. Here, you know, her quad looks way too big for her body. It's just, she looks like a wellness athlete in this pose. So, yeah, not, not the right pose for her. Here too, it's not bad, but still the same thing. It's just not the east of that. You know, east needs to come in delicate looking. She can't come in looking like a, like a beast, or she just ruins her. You know her entire look i mean obviously she doesn't look bad to show but you know the it's too much too much quad too much clunkiness too big she looks very large i think she won the show too but she would look better if she was facing more on you don't want too much look at angelica when she won the olympia look at jen right when she won the olympia look at ashley when she won the olympia look at Lily when she won the arnold there's nothing crazy about their physique there's nothing exaggerated it's all about the balance and the look right you don't want something to look you don't want a freaky look isa was the freakiest winner we've ever saw but she was also posing in a more balanced way right if she poses like this it's not it's too freaky this waist is too small the legs are too big there's too much like wow factor and in bikini you want a wow factor but you want it to be with your presentation and your beauty not with your your physique where it's like too much you don't like look, look at and jen and angelica are the two best examples because they're there's no crazy body parts but there's no weak body parts it's perfect symmetry and that's what makes the olympia winner these are a few other shows uh this back shot's pretty good i really like it or obviously her right foot's too much a little bit too uh abduct a little bit too much but once again terrible suit cut ruining the shape of the glutes but the fullness is not bad here definitely better than let's say like the new york pro but you know definitely not bad same thing with this, this, this suit cut i mean i hope this i never see this on stage again
It's, a, it's horrible. Here too, um, you know, this is she might have won the show, but she's leaning on, weight on her back leg, right? You can see the way you know that someone's leaning weight on their back leg is because they're not posing upright. So if she was leaning forward and didn't have any weight on her back leg, she would literally fall forward because of gravity, right? So she looks a lot more presentable. Once again, if she stands very tall and upright, look how much more confident she is with her chest and her posture versus this, right? Look at it. It's, it's day and night. I don't know if you guys see this, but for me, it's extremely obvious. This is the New York Pro. The front pose, okay, but you can tell she's very flat. And her legs are a little bit flat here. This foot position is great. Feet are too close. Um, her knee is too pointed away. And it kind of gives her upper body, her upper body looks like kind of longer and bigger than her lower body because her feet are too close. But look at the back, look at the back shot here with this New York Pro. Extremely flat, right? So like, look at the New York Pro look versus uh, kind of what we're working with now with the left, right? So look at this. Obviously, this is too much leaning over, but this upper body, this lower body versus New York. Look, look at look at the difference in the. And this is like when she's lean, glutes always pop more when the athletes lean, right? But so this is going to be a huge difference. Plus, I don't know why here she has a perfect suit cut, and then and then after that she just it kind of went downhill. I don't know if she changed sponsors. I don't know. This might even be the same company. I, I don't even know. But I know the company that makes those T suit cuts also makes suit cuts that are proper. So I don't know. Uh, where the miscommunication is or why there's even a different pattern, but there shouldn't be. So, so I mean, it kind of just goes into this. And yeah, and once again, this is the video where, you know, she has such unbelievable glutes, which made me, this is the most, when I saw this video, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe that this is the potential of Issa's glutes and we've never actually seen it before on stage. So, you know, there's, there's a lot of things we're going to be changing, you know, supplementation protocol, which we're not going to discuss here online, but that's going to be a big change. Peak week protocol, we're going to bring her in full, nice round glutes. We're going to be training the glutes now versus she wasn't training them before, really. Um, the suit cut, the posing, that's five things right there, you know, and, you know, just a different approach to, you know, everything and even, and, and the training intensity too. She wasn't, she wasn't training the glutes, plus she wasn't training hard. So she's going to go from 70% training to hundred percent training and really pushing herself. So my goal is to bring Issa in with an improved front pose. Um, I think I explained to you guys pretty well why her front pose looks the best the way it does when she stands tall with her foot, you know angle the way it does with the you know the back foot not leaning on it etc cetera, etc cetera. and the back pose you know it needs she needs to be properly pushed uh backwards and you know let's just look let's look let's look at this again this is like 2019 or something look at the angle of her lower back here so this is like 2018 this is, this is like a four-year difference right but you would think it's like a reverse transformation like look at the roundness in her glutes here and the bubbliness and their lower back actually being tilted backwards versus this one where her lower back is you know straight up the glutes are flat. The suits sucks. I mean, it's just like a, a four. It's a reverse transformation. This is four years ago, so of course she's, um, you know, placing lower and lower because it's just not. She wasn't making the right changes, right? She wasn't improving of the package she already had. She was changing things which didn't need to be changed, which was giving her a, a lesser result. So you know, I hope I can convince you guys, uh, you know, that Issa is going to be back at the top, and I hope you guys are aligned with my vision and understand where I'm going with this. And you're, you get just as excited as me, you know, to see the new improved Isa. So, I mean, I'm very humble by the experience. I'm very appreciative that she chose me to be her coach going forward when she had, you know, a bunch of options. But I think that we're going to make a great team. You know, she's very coachable, very easy to work with, and she just wants to be told what to do and she's going to do it. So I'm excited and I hope you guys are just as excited as me. And if you have any feedback or comments or you disagree with me or you agree with me, let me know in the comments and I'll appreciate it. Thank you very much. and hope you have a great day.